Hi, today I want to show you a vector processing iOS app called Emma Engine, and I'll be using it on my iPhone. It also is available for the iPad. Emma Engine, short for Image Engine, is from a brilliant developer from Spain named Luis Riva. I've been using Emma Engine as a secret weapon for a couple of years, but it keeps getting better and better, and the word is out. So I want to show you how to use it for your vinyl projects. The first thing you want to do is go to the App Store, and you want to type in I M A. E N G I N E. Two apps will come up Emma Engine Vector and Emma Engine School Edition. You want the first one. It's free to use, but you'll need a $1.99 purchase to export files. We'll talk about that later. When you get to the home screen, the mountain icon in the middle would take you to your camera roll. There's also a smaller Dropbox icon, which is what I'm going to use. I find that Dropbox is really convenient for moving files between your phone and your computer. You will need a Dropbox account, of course. So for my first photo, I'm going to pull it from Dropbox, something I saved on my computer from Facebook. I'm going to select that image. And the first option I have is to crop. So you just pull in on these dots on the corners until you get it like you want it. And then you press the go arrow. Now, along the bottom are a number of filters. We want the one that's called ink. Now, you'll see four sliders, detail, threshold, stroke, and freckles. If you watch my Tracing Without Tears series for Silhouette, you know I came up with a method of combining an edge trace with a brightness trace for tracing photos. Well, Emma Engine does all that for you and more with just these four settings. Freckles is the size of the smallest shapes. And since we usually want to avoid small shapes for vinyl, I'm going to set this to zero, at least to start with. I'm going to start with the other three at 50% just to give myself a, a starting point. Threshold controls how light or dark the overall image is. So I'm going to move it so that the darks are dark and the lights are light and that it looks good in general. We can come back to it later. Stroke controls how thick the strokes from the edge trace are very thick or very thin. And detail controls the overall detail of the image. A high number makes it look more realistic. A low number makes it look more cartoonish. But you don't want too much detail for cutting with vinyl. So you want this about the lowest you can get it with it still looking good. You want to play with these one at a time to get familiar. It just takes trial and error on each image to get exactly what you want. So keep going until you're happy. The better the photo, the better your result, of course. But I've found that Emma Engine is about the most forgiving tool for less than perfect photos. Photos with a busy background and so on. When I'm satisfied with my settings, I click the share button. Now when you get to this point, you won't have the option to save unless you have upgraded the software with the $1.99 upgrade. Let me just encourage you to do that. It will make things much easier. It will support a worthwhile developer. I'm going to click SVG and I'm going to click the Dropbox button to save it back to Dropbox. Now that this file is saved on Dropbox, on my computer I can open Design Space or Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and open this file right from Dropbox. It will have a background layer that I simply delete and then it's basically ready to cut. No tracing or cleanup at all. Let's look at one more photo, this time from my camera roll. I'll tell you that M Engine has a tendency to age its subjects, so it's not as good with children or with pictures of yourself. You'll see it's turned her smile to a frown, so we'll have some work to do. Again, I'm going to move everything to the middle, except for freckles, which I'm going to turn to zero, and then I'm going to work from there. She's still a little frowny, so maybe I want to try crop and see if I can get a better image with just her face. Well, 
Well, I still don't think that does her justice, and I would probably use the photo if I could. But if I had to have a trace, Emma Engine's going to do as good a job as anything. So I'll use this as an example just to show you how we would share it if we were going to use Cricut Design Space iPhone app and we can't use an SVG. So I'm going to click the Editor button, and I get a Layers panel. So I'm going to turn off the background layer by clicking the eyeball on the bottom layer, and then I'm going to click share and you'll see the checkerboards behind her that shows that this is a transparent image. I'm going to click on PNG and click on the PNG to camera roll button. Now I can go to Cricut Design Space, click on upload, select from camera roll and bring her right in. I just can click through on next because there's no other work to do and save on cut image give it a name then I can insert so when I bring that onto the canvas you can see that this is a single layer ready to cut file that I would just size and go from there so I hope you enjoy using Emma Engine make sure to stop by my blog at cleversomeday.com and my YouTube channel also named Clever Someday